Hey, I wanted to show you guys the what I found to be the easiest ways to get letter boxes on DaVinci Resolve. That's the black boxes on the top and the bottom. Um, the easiest way to do it is to just go to timeline and output blanking and then choose your aspect ratio. Like if I want 2.39, I choose that. And now I have the black boxes on the top and the bottom. And this is the way that DaVinci Resolve kind of wants you to do it. Um, you can undo that just by going back to timeline output blanking and then resetting. Um, the other way I found to do it, which uh, was really simple, um, but gave me a little bit more control over the, the black boxes was when I went to toolbox, generators, and then solid color. And then you throw in a solid color over your clip, so that's just black. Um, and then go to make sure you're on settings here, not generator and then crop it um, upwards or crop the bottom so that you're revealing most of your clip right up until you don't want to. Uh, that looks close to like 2.39 to me. And then you can literally just option move your clip and duplicate it right above that first clip and then flip that horizontally. So now you have your letter box, it's the exact same thing. Um, but you have more control over it. So you can move it where you want to move it. And if you want most of your video without a letterbox, but one part of your video with a letterbox, um, you can do it that way. Or if you want to kind of keyframe in your letterbox, like I know I use it sometimes uh, if I'm making like a video and I want to have, uh, you know, a sequence where the letterbox gets keyframed in and I'm going into some kind of like a uh, cool like B-roll montage thing, it's really useful then. Um, so just, you can always just delete the top clip, go to the bottom one, uh, make sure to, uh, leave a keyframe the way you like it. Um, and then move back as far back as you want to move and move the crop all the way to zero or all the way to 1080 in this case, and then just see how that works. Yep. So it's pretty fast right there, but, um, there's my keyframe for the, the letter box. And then I can just duplicate that literally just by, uh, moving the clip above it, and then flipping it horizontally. Um, it's not quite as precise to do it this way. Uh, you know, if you, if you want to be really precise, just do it the DaVinci Resolve way by going output blanking. But um, if you want to be more precise, you can kind of eyeball it. I just went online and found like an image of all the different aspect ratios, or at least most of them. And then um, I uh, just lowered the opacity on that. And then that way I can kind of move that around to wherever it's convenient and then kind of eyeball uh, the opacity, the uh, aspect ratio that I'm looking for. That uh, that's pretty much it for letterboxing your your clips. Again, it was like it was like hard to find, but actually really easy to do. Um, if you want to change the actual aspect ratio of your video, uh, you're supposed to do that by going to Project Settings and then Timeline Resolution. You can change the resolution of your of your video um, to whatever any of these presets right there. Or if you want to do something more specific, like, you know, it's different, for example, if you're trying to do like a Facebook cover video or something like that, where it's like super wide, um, you can always just change it manually here, the height and the width, so that it's convenient and, 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 uh, and you're efficient with, with your use of uh, pixels, etc. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, super easy to do.